Cool. I was packed too. Yeah, it's a ponder. Got the dilly click. Who would have stayed this color? Those are the other pirates. So. Um. I think I just want to take a ponder here. And just another good one drop cantrip. So I think I'm just going to take that. Ooh, Abbott. Ooh, Rift Bolt. Ooh, Force Will. Ooh, Thing of Nice. Ooh, these are good cards. We also have Elsewhere Night Air. Um, no, we are going to Ponder Brains, I don't think Force Will is the greatest. Uh, I kind of want to take Abbott, but this Rift Bolt is sweet too. What do we see that's model red? We got. I don't want to get any good, so I'm going to take Abbott. Abbott's just one of my favorite cards in Q. It, there, I have a few favorites, honestly. It's because of Firecraft. I think it's better than the Burning of Zerion and Van Ward. Uh, better than Peel, probably. And then, yeah. I, I don't like that I'm liquidating my deck into a deck this fast, but ooh, maybe we should. Um, I mean, it's opened. I'm not playing Show and Tell. I'm just playing like a blue red burn deck with Abbott. I mean, look at this guy. Those are two different people. I really want that young pyramid story and the skull clamp. If I get young pyramid and skull clamp in this deck, ooh, some dirty things right there, people. that I know. There might be like a pro player or something that you know that I don't. I don't recognize anyone, so... Ooh. There we go. Fire confluence. Playing this blue-red burn deck. We also just might be mono red and just cut that, but I'm taking this fire confluence. Ugh. Dealing six. Pretty good for me. Like, we could still be in this blue-red plan, but we also just get this mono red deck. Which would, I'm fine with either one. For the blue red because we start with Ponder and right. So I don't think there's anything that we passed that was like gray in red. Like Rift Bolt was a good pass. Uh pack one we had a pass for Kindling Phoenix, which isn't great, but I'll take it if it passes me to us. It it kinda of just looks like no one wants to be the red player, which um, personally I think the red deck is the best deck in Vintage Cube. It's just very explosive, hard to deal with, and very aggressive. And a lot of people don't want to be, a lot of people want to play these combo storm decks that just lose to mono red. People want to play red white instead of just mono red. And I, I think all those people are wrong, personally. But if it's not open, it's not open. So, you can't just. Okay, well, got a good one drop for mono red, and nothing. Not his gear. Yeah, it's some weird cards in the cube. So I think I'm gonna leave the brainstorm and ponders for now. Mm, I don't know. Um I think I really do like the storm decks in the cube. I'm not the greatest. I mean Comics are great. Uh, I'm not a fan of the. I've, I've drafted the Show and Tell decks quite a bit because I think I think they're good, but they just never are. Uh, I, I had one queued up that I was going to play for us, but I went O2 drop, and I was like, I don't want to post that for my first first video, so I decided not to.
Hát már nem tudom, hogy semmi. I got this one to turn one out of turn two, or turn one state or turn two out of turn three. Like this plus the rift bowl. Just get him. Oh, that is um probably one of the best cards we can get. Hell Riders, one of my fate. This and Hazard and Fire Combos are like the best four drops for this deck. I'm gonna be real happy. You're just trying to play this mono red deck, I guess. Uh, I played this earlier and I also was uh, recording it, but um, something happened with my recording and it just went away. So, just stopped recording midway of my draft and midway of my, my tournament or my matches. So, I didn't get to play it. I didn't get to play it and I went 2 1. I just uh, lost just a. Um, I lost to a Shaman Tail deck, which. Wait, was this one took a kid on the I'm gonna take. I think take this back to strength. Like, it's not, it's not wrong to put Splash Black or like something like that. It's not a card I want to play, but a card we might play. And so, where is it going to go? We have six playables and three cards that we could have played. Or still can. Young Pyramids are pretty good with one, two, three. Uh, I want to get better than this, this Avalanche Rider, honestly. I'm going to take Young PV. And again, I don't think I want to play it, but we, we might still be the blue, red, like mid range aggro deck. But I'm going to put it here. Yeah, you can go two over. There you go. You're young. You don't deserve to be these OG cards. Like, look at this guy. Can't even tell things, but oh, I'm say I don't understand why Necrofall is in here. Uh, I think it's a good card. Uh, I think it should have just been replaced with Chupacabra. Like, they added Chupacabra, but they just didn't take Necrofall off. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I think we should take this Terminate. And if we splash, if we play, if we go to the red black mid range, we'll have Terminate the Reactor's turn. If we go blue red, we have Ponder Brainstorm. I think that was the pack. Ooh, I hear this. I think that last pack was the pack with the ripple, which didn't wheel, so I'm kind of sad about that. Let's take some white over. Yeah, no one wants to play white. Really. I think we're someone's trying to shift in once they saw ripple and stuff, which kind of sucks for us, but that's fun. So. Special visions and spell pierce, so like two cards. We're looking at this full red version. But man, it's packs. So if this is a pack, I'll pick one. I'm probably just taking Teferi, honestly. Take this visions. Yeah, I think someone's um, trying to draft a deck. So I'm going to take this Delver right here, I think. We got five, three, and three, and I want. Alright, we have that too. So, like, I think this Delver is going to play this blue red, like, Delver deck now. And I'm going to start that. Which just seems fun. Well, that just sucks that someone's taking, is running into our deck now. Uh, I'll just fire. Fire Nice is, I think, is better than Trenchal. Uh, reasons it works better with Young Pyromancer and also Delver. Also, I probably should have. I don't know if Delver was a correct pick over that or Trunade, but I, I just like what drops. Ooh. Char or Goblin Guy? That, that's the pick. Oh, that, that's the hard chip right here. I think Goblin Guy is. Like, Char works better, but I just like Goblin Guy too much. I play a lot of Burn and Modern here. Turn 1 and Goblin. I mean, I'm only going to turn 1 Delver, flip it, turn 2 Goblin Guy, plus like. Ponder. Seems sweet. Uh, I think I want to get it for this brainstorm is fascist. That's what I really want. Yeah, that, that would make this deck a lot better. I think 
Give it to me. Stone Stoneheart is the ideal fetch, but I'll take any blue or red fetch. Preferably red, it looks like. But, you know, I can't complain. Fetch is a fetch, and a fetch is a fetch. Okay. So, it looks like... So that's what weird means. The goblin got a charm, but I think someone... I... What was this guy's passive? I think this guy is trying to be mono red, and we're just... Because we pass him so much, but... Take this Zergo. Another good one-drop creature. Like, we can, we can cut the blue stone and fine. We have way too many big picks, like, pack one. There's no good red card. Pack two. Still no good red card. Alright. Okay. Um, TG, probably not. Tasmal Image, probably. Like, we can copy this. You can copy. Nothing great. Uh, I think we'll take this Kiki from the board in case I, like, get Deceiver X Art, and then. We can play the Deceiver X Art combo and be happy. Play the Blue Red Aggro Deceiver X Art combo. Ooh, that's right, that's sweet here. That's why I'd rather have them than X Art, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot Johnny Vengeance in here. He is. I love that. Thing. But, um, I think the pick is between Swiss Spear and Incinerate. Um, I don't think Daze is worth them, because we're playing mostly red, but... I would take Swiss Spirit up. I just really like Prowess creatures with that many spells we have. Uh, this is easy, easy Taiga. Just snap it now. It's obviously the Seer Armageddon. Nah, I'll just take the Seer Blitz here. No, they just Bolt Effect. Goes well with Swiss Spear, Abbott, Jump Pyromancer, can make Delver flip faster. Also, just 2 mana deal 3. So, I'd really like the Incinerate, I believe, is the card that we passed. I would like that to wield. I would like as many of these effects as I can. I mean, 3 mana deal 4 is sweet too. But... And we have 2 mana deal 2. Like, I'm very happy about this deck. These are like my decks I like. I like these. This way when I have you if I ever post legacy, which I hopefully will. I really like Blue Red Dover. I don't think it's the most best position deck right now. I prefer Grixis in, in this meta. Yes, I am I am one of those Grixis Dover players. Yeah, this is our first pack. There's like nothing good in here. Like I I'm just gonna take this ritual and cry a little. And probably not play it. But, um, yes, I am one of the Greek Stover players. I don't have in real life, but uh, I play a lot of Modo. I 4 1 and 5 0 you all the time with it. I think it's great. Um, I also really like Blue Red. I really just love going Swiss Spear and then you just like probe, probe attack for 3 on turn 1. So essentially bolting and then turn 2, you just go like bolt, ponder, get probe, probe, take 4 7. And they're already at 10, and they've already probably shocked or fetched, so they're probably at 9. And someone's just incinerate. Oh. If you ever cast Incinerate with a Swiss Spear, like if you ever went turn 1 with a Swiss Spear, Probe, Probe, Attack for 3, and you go turn 2, Mountain, Bolt, Bolt, Incinerate, ugh. And just gas. I was I was 4 1. I finished the league 4 1, but it was very sweet. Like, man, just, that's, that's, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're, you're bringing in a 4, essentially, on turn 2, on the play. Um, I don't think we play this. I think, it's weird seeing this weird card. Like, Grim Tutor, it's just weird seeing this late. Recruiter, and the rest make sense, but I'm gonna take this from the board. In case I need a board wipe. Bonfire is one of those board wipes that's weird. But man, sometimes you just blow people up. Like, if you rip it off early, it feels bad and it's not the great if you cast from hand. But sometimes you just take this grid board because we have that potential of terminate Raptor's turn. And I don't think I want to be Grixis. I think I want to be solid blue, red, or just red. 
Where's the card? We want to incinerate the wheel. That's the card we're looking for. I was trying to remember. But, um, in modern, I also play humans now. Uh, I played a lot of burn, but, um, I think humans is the deck to be on because you have so much interaction and you have to not just be lucky at the deck, you also have to be good and skilled and knowledgeable of modern. And in standard, I play us. Uh, I play some Rakdos. This red black. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that face. That's what. That's the face you have when you open the char and you're just like, hmm. It's the exact card I wanted to wield. Hmm. 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 You know. Okay. Uh, I don't. What's this? I'm gonna take this. Uh. Screw. They can't. They can't have this card. This card too good against me. But was that the pack with incinerators or the next pack? I think it's the next pack. I hope. Really, really hope. Okay, I think this is the pack. So I'm gonna take this Lumbala because Future Dimp is sees more play than the Lumbala, and I'd rather have the person that wants Future Dimp have it. See, so in that case, if I do that, maybe the incinerator's in this pack, and this one's nice enough to give it to me. Yeah. Come on. Yes! Look at that. That is what you call being great. Pick up the correct That face is ugly. Oh my god. Look at, the, look at this face of this guy. I don't think it zooms in when I quite get it, but you know. He, he, he got it. He got like a Freddy Krueger looking face. A face only you'll love. Not, not even your mother. Just no. That is a face you call. Not even a mom above. Oh, we'll put it back to hit in between this. The good cards. Um. Yes, yeah, this will be the first stream you'll see with me. Or, uh, upload. I am very excited to bring people. Magic, I love this game, and this pack is pretty good with Eidolon. Like, again, if we had something else, I'd take that, because we, we have Kiki, that. And I don't think I want those as a charm. I think I just want Eidolon. Extra damage is always good. Uh, if this was our first pack, this pack would be nuts. We, we could have took Coalition Relic, we could have took Primetime, we could have took Grizzlebrand, Control Magic, Swords, Lotus Petal is a Poplar to pick one, Splinter Twin, Eilon, like this pack. This is a nuts pack for pack one. But it's pack three, so we, we're not. And there we go. Like, got all Hazard Boy. I think it's better than CGing. Also, did I have the old CGing art? That is just weird. Uh, I'm gonna take this Hazard and be, be totally happy. Well, now we're running, our 4 drop slots getting kind of the. And our twos and ones are fun. Ugh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Do you, do you see this chain lightning? Or take care of this. Uh, I'm taking chain lightning over Puritan because three mana works well with our deck. And we also might be just cutting blue now. Like, Ponder, Delver, Brainstorm, and Fire. Fire and Ice is card, we still will play. We don't have to cast it for ice. I'm gonna take this. Uh, the other card is Premier Dame is playing good. Um, I mean, we might just be mono red at this point, but so if we cut blue, we're just we're looking at an 18 card deck, which is a little worse. But that makes your Pyromancer a little worse. But I, I think I want to play the blue splash at the moment, like. If we just get more red cards and no good blue cards, yeah, I'm just gonna cut the blue, but at the moment, I'd, I'd rather be this blue red. Oh. 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 But if we take that, we have that, so we gotta play. Oh. So now, this is the question if, if we want to be this blue red Kiki combo deck with an aggressive plan, or are we just gonna cut blue and just take this flame collar or like the Swap Suns? And I don't think we want to be the Pastor Met deck. 
I, we don't have any interaction. We just have removal and burn spells. So I'm going to take Shock of Flame Crawler. Um, you can argue that pick for if you want. Um, I, I'm not going to say it's not. It's a fine argument because I do have the Kiki Kiki. But um, we possibly aren't playing the blue already. We're debating on it. Because our blue is only for four cards, and at that point we should just play Maha Red. But um, I will, if you if you would like, put in the comment section uh, why you think that pick was wrong and why this is a better pick. Please do. Uh, you know, it helps me get better. It helps you learn and see some more fun picks of magic and just play some more. Okay. So, it's Lyra because we can't beat it because we're obviously playing with people in our draft. I'm not. I'm saying it's Fireball. And at, at this point, I have Fireball. I, I think I'm cutting the blue. Like, we have to. I'll, I would just put, like, Kiki Jiki. I prefer to play, like, a 16 card play and 16 lands in this model red deck, so I need four more good picks. And we already saw Jackal Pop, so which will probably wheel. So that means we need. Three more fine cards. And in our board, we could we could play this bonfire. We could play, to not this ritual. And again, we, we probably might put the blue back, but as of right now, I don't think it's worth it. We are like this is a blue card, but we can just cast for fire. We can just deal two to them. Two and deal two is fine. Uh, but another reason to not to play blue is it doesn't work with hazard as much, and hazard is gas. And look at that. Look, look at this standard OP champ here, opposition. Right. Let's take up this. Take opposition and be happy. <laughs> I'm thinking Goblin Jane Wheeler. Uh, deals a 3 3 first strike that deals 1 to everything and an opponent. Like this card, how did this make it through testing? I'm happy it did, don't get me wrong. I, when I saw the leak, I was like, this is, this is going to be the standard playable card. This is the. It is busted. It is great. It's. It was a great card, and look at this, another one job. Sweet. Yeah, uh, I think we're solid in this mono red deck. Uh, but, Goblin Chain World, uh, it's, it's great. I, I think it would be a lot worse if it didn't have first strike. If it, like, had haste. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still played, but I think the first strike is very prevalent. Prevalent. And I think the dealing one to everything except me and my creatures is also relevant. So if they. They would change the first strike to haste, or the deal one damage to every creature and every player. Uh, I think it'd be a lot worse, but I still think he would be one of the best standard cards alongside Old Hazard Boy. They, they go together. Let's put, let's put them over here by himself, yeah. Standard, standard and playable OG cards just go here. I don't think we have any other standard OG cards. Basically, lightning strike. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put all my favorite cards up in the front. So charge my favorite three drop. This is my favorite. Look, look, look at this. I was about to take Grim Moment. So honestly, I was, I was like, saw them like, oh man, Grim Moment. But uh, Fire Boss is probably. <laughs> man, this deck is just sweet. See, there's Chupacabra. Um, I think it's still a fine card. I just don't think they should have Necrotal. Necrotal is one of those cards that I never like. I never think it's good. And then Goblin got to go obviously. And then Fire Glass. Yep. And then, my other favorites I'm not adding to that list because it covers up these guys. But yeah, like every card in front is my favorite card in this deck. So we can go turn one Goblin, I turn two, Abbott, turn three. Chain will turn four, Hazard turn five, Ch Char plus Magma Jet, Ch make Hazard attack. Bleh. Just bleh in the face. I like to, I like to, just bleh people in the mouth, in the face. I don't know about you, but. No, I'm just, just all waiting over here. People just don't want to pass me my red stuff. They're just like, hmm, whoever's playing red is probably got the best cards.
this deck, and they're just like, oh, I don't want to pass on this. Jacklepub. Jacklepub is one of my least favorite cards in the Monroe deck. So if we get anything that's not a Jacklepub, uh, this guy would be happy. But I will play it. The reason why is. Um, I don't think we're going to take Twin. I think we're going to take Wear and Tear for the board. I wish he was a Brave, but you, know, you, you can't have everything you want. You can't eat your cake and enjoy it too. So that's saying. It, you can't have your cake and eat it too. All those people out there that are judging me. I'm going to put this in for now. Because it's a good 5 drop. Because again, I'd rather play that over Jackpot, but I think Jackpot is a better card for this aggressive deck. Because you might look at this curve. Let's, let's start this curve better. You know, this curve like, this is a mid This is a more slower, but you never cast this for six. So probably ain't playing this. And then the Chandra is just one of the best yet. And so we got that back, so I'm going to cut this. And I'm fine with it being our deck. Um, man, I'll leave you. That is one of my. Man, you should give me some some of my favorite. My like, my three, some of my favorite cards from that set: Olivia, Huntmaster, Dice of Saint Trap, Snapcaster. But my all-time favorite is obviously we already talked about this. Mogus, the Goddess the Louder. If this card was in cube, I would pack one, pick one it over a Black Lotus. Every single. Go time. No doubt about it. That will be my. That will always be my pack one pick one. <laughs> Even if there's like a pro tour that's like magic, magic pro or draft pro tour. Don't don't care. From the finals, top eight of the draft, and I open Black Lotus pack one, and there's Mogus in it. Mm, uh, I'd rather I'd rather take my card. Y'all want be saying this gets stupid, but this is my favorite. Honestly, if I was in a pro tour, they hit cube at the finals, it'd be a weird pro tour. And I'd probably take the black lotus at that point. If it was just like, not top eight of a pro tour, I would have hit. Crap, let's fix it. Take a leave my phone. Uh, history. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. It's like at 50% of the dice, but. Yeah, anyway. Let's cut this history. Let's cut this student. And let's add some. Add the mountains. Deck guys, and let's play some magic. Hopefully, this is awesome. Yes. Look at that, that was, that was pretty fast. Um, so we have one drop. Into two drop into two drop. Yeah, I think it's keep. It just sucks we're on Pringle. This sucks we're on the draw. Turn two depends on what he does here. Depends if I want to just play this Abbott on turn two. Like if he doesn't play anything, oh, if he doesn't play land, I'm just gonna magma jet this noble. No, no, not blocking. Like, if he doesn't play land here, I'm turning magma jet. If he does, I'm just gonna play Abbott. Alright, so we hit his, he hit his second one. That's fine. Uh, 
And then I can go Matt Majet plus the Zergo pass. Please let me good, please let me good. Hey, look, it's Matt. Sweet. Was it a hazard or something great? Come out. We have plenty of things. On the other side of the face, I do. Attack that noble, and this, my opponent's bringing these noble beats. It's kind of terrifying. At all. I don't know how to handle this. Just over here shaking my boots. So we're just gonna make jet this noble because he hasn't missed a land drop, but I don't know what colors he's playing. He could be playing some white and blue. And um, I think on the bottom, and then I'm on top of this. Exquisite. Attacking for five seems great. The next one I get four. It's two activate, yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I bring him to two. And then like anything my deck kills him. You can also argue that since we're just so far ahead to not magma jet the noble and just magma jet him, but I think it gives him a bot. Very alive. Ooh. Mm. So he's playing a reanimator deck. Do you have any answers for that on the board? My question. Uh, like, nah. That's fun. I mean, I'm not mad. It's cute. If you don't have an answer, you don't have an answer. But it looks like he's very slow. He's missing the second block to like reanimate them. And I think we just get to go in for almost lethal to where we can untap Chandra and that should draw land or something. Uh, Masker Worm. Like he didn't even have, um, he doesn't even have uh, Worm Coil or Grizzle Daddy. Maybe he thinks it's nothing, just concedes. Or he's smart and realizes we're off by a few. But I mean, by a few, I mean that too. So if he goes Noxious Gear, nope, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna run it back. There's not much I want to change here, like, I can. You can debate putting Bonfire in, but I don't think it's worth it or needed. Ooh. But again, um, I just, I think these, this is probably the best deck in this format because you're not trying to do this weird combo, like everyone's trying to like reanimate or play Storm or play like these weird decks, these the ramp decks, I'm just trying to speed you in the face. I know it's not the most fun to watch. It's fun for me. I just like I like to punch people, but um, it gives me trust. It gives it gets me um uh, trophies. It just gets my name out there, and it's just a good start. Like joining someone's YouTube channel, they your first YouTube video they watch is a three zero or even two one. You're just like, okay, this person's not that bad. I have played two other videos I've tried, and blue red. Um, Show and tell doesn't work, I O2 that, and then I do one with the, another version of this deck. So I'm going to keep this, because then the turn one goblin got turned to idol, uh, idol or young. It's probably easy. Now I need lands. I really want them. Uh, I think you go turn one your pyromancer over Swiss Spear, because the extra damage, and if we draw like. Um, if we draw a Malin, I don't want to just slam Swiss Spear. I probably just want to go Young Pyromancer and hopefully draw like Bolt and go Swiss Spear plus Bolt. Tag. But yeah, what we're trying to draw is. What was the card? Maze of it. But we're trying to draw a Mana Sword. Uh, so bad. Just watch this for days. Uh, so bad. 
start smashing. Um, really want to draw a second lane so we can go like you know, or Eidolon or something. Just this is, this is be bad. Cause we got like our fours and threes and twos, but we're stuck in our one. It takes one. If you have the hard cards, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna rip them out at the top. Today's this is a good card. That is um, a solid card and a half. I don't know what the half part is, but um, it is a very good, powerful magic card that is gonna be hard for me to beat. And what's your face? This card, mm -hmm. card searcher library for a creature card. Oh, so it's just mm -hmm. it's a hunt, uh, hunt the weed. No, um, survival fittest. Hey, they just, they're really close in the game. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I know he's just gonna maze this, but I just have to, like, make him use it. Sometimes we just, might just block with the phone of Shaman. Mm -hmm. Also, we did draw land. Look at that. I drew Noble. Oh, the mana he's getting. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, untap target time creature prevent all combat and be dealt to and dealt. Okay. I was thinking, like, it only prevents damage dealt to him, and then you just, like, chomp, and I was like, I got this, but no. Uh, I'm good at this game. It'll be real good. Second land. And then third land, so I can go Chain Willer, kill Bird, and this Noble is obviously going to play. I will bet $100 to not play this Noble. And obviously y'all don't believe in me because I, did, I, drew, I drew a Searing Spear. Man, you gotta think, how many copies of like Lightning Strike are there out there? There's Searing Spear, there's Lightning Strike itself, there's Incinerate. We didn't get Lightning Strike, that was the one we didn't. Also, um, if you're watching this, I will be streaming Twitch very soon. Uh, I won't be just doing magic. I do play a lot of video games with my best friends. Uh, you'll see, you'll hear them until I can get my camera working, which I have a headset but no camera. You'll see them a lot. Uh, Tyler is my best friend. He'll be on a few. You'll hear him. My friend Luke. My other friend Tyler, aka Pasty. Mm. I was shitting on Necrotal and now just came back to bite me in the ass. Also, I, I promise you I didn't bet money on Noble Hire. Don't, don't go rewind. Don't. Yeah, I didn't do it. Pretty sure you bet money that he was... Yeah, that was okay. Again, the chain will be great. Just bop, bop, kill Necrotal bird. And he's gonna play the Noble. It's just so bad. I'm gonna discard this. Um, I think we're losing this game, but I need. I would. I wanted to put a threat before I um before I concede. Was any big threat? I concede. Told you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Still an Iris good card. Good, good card. I, I think I am conceding here just because, like, we're so far behind. Like, with Still an Iris, he's gonna find this in. And... Okay. Um. I think I actually bring this field in. Just trim him out for it. Like, that's not really gonna affect him, man. all too much. 
The only thing will affect would be like going chain water on turn three if, if we have that and two rounds. But whatever. If we if we can't play turn one and turn three, neither. Whatever, we'll just play a two drop and a one drop. Actually, I lied. I'm sorry. If we can't play chain one on turn three, why, why are we playing the deck? That's bad then. Oh, uh, yes. Got one drop, we got Hazard, we got Shantra over here. I remember this was like a standard OG over here. Dark Breath Order actually surprised me because I guess he is a one drop 2 1, but. Like, he's, that's all it is, is 1 drop 2 1. I remember when he was in the Mono Red decks, like, he, he did nothing. He literally just a 1 drop 2 1. Also, this art doesn't match the name. Falcon Red Order, like. I guess that he does have blood on his fingers and mouth, but like, he kind of looks like he was at a ball and he kind of, kind of like murdered someone and like running for his life, running for his life, but you know whatever. Yeah, this, this is what we want. Hundred percent. Not done. Not cards. Not. If they have cards on land, I'm gonna card moto. I mean, this is magical, I guess. Like, our opponent's stuck on one right now. No. 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 Don't reanimate Grizzlebrand, please. I will concede in five seconds if you reanimate. So, my question is if he wanted to discard a card, why did he play a land instead of just passing and playing land on turn two? It sets you back the same amount. I don't know, people, people um... Okay, now I think he's just... Because like... he didn't... Weird, I'm confused. I think that's very weird that opponent just did nothing. So next turn if I draw a tough batting to land a three discard. If I draw a two drop or one drop, that'd be pretty sweet. There we go, I can play a land. Maybe just F6 and we'll just print engine. Uh. So my opponent's stupid. I like to be cheeky faster. Mm -hmm. Discard him out and then also just incinerate him. Okay, well, that was um a weird game three. Like I don't know. If he would have animated if he I think he had the swamp and he just like just clicked. But if he had the reanimate in the swamp and just went reanimate that um, that would probably be bad. There we go. The Mono Red deck beat a 7 7 with a button link. Woo, that's hard to do. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna play some burn. Ooh, Shell Luck. Oh, ooh, I like it. What is Shell Luck read? Uh, 20 of fear. Okay, so half my deck. Which is almost already gone. That's why Shell Duck's good if you didn't, if you didn't know. Shut up, Io is a, is a land that says hideaway, which enters the battlefield tapped. When it does, look at the top four cards in your library, exile one of them face down, and put the rest on the bottom. And it also has blues, but you can pay blue and tap it. You may play the exile card without paying mana costs. The opponent has 20 or fewer cards. They made one of these for every color, and each one did something like a different reason why. But, uh, I think I'm just going to show that. And then, incinerate, and then, char. Alright, so we're playing some old Grixis over here. I think I'm just hopefully fast enough. Ooh, I just. I'm just gonna play. The next turn I can go char and then turn four and go incinerate plus fire. You think fire would do better than lightning bolt? Because if 
fire is actual fire, but you know, I, I didn't create magic. Repeal. Okay. Get taxi for no, you don't want to pay two life. What's wrong with you? People are bad at this game. You obviously against Mono Red, you play two life. I think that was the wrong play. 108%. I think it's wrong. With you. you know, I'm not, I'm not no magic expert, but I obviously think you pay two. Cause you, you might draw Ponder or Brainstorm. Also, what does Lava Call reach? Is I think it's three mana that comes to a 2 2 or something. Yeah, three mana come with two two. You pay X. So does fire breathing with X. That art is pretty sick, though. I'll give them that. Like some of these art magic cards, are sick. Like Shadow Isles art, plus beautiful chain lightning, taxing probes. Imperial Sill. Such a lightning for the top ones. Comment section, stop, stop judging me, it's rude. I understand that I, I, like, I hit one in the middle end of the exact same time. But usually it stops, she's like, Are you sure you want to use but whatever? How does that 10? I don't think you can just combo here. I don't think. What do you put on top of the Imperial Seal? <sighs> Sorry for the yawning people, I'm tired. I'm used to working mornings and not being awake this long, but we're gonna uh, take two. <laughs> if he's trying to storm here, I have idle on it. That feels good, then we just ripped idle on the top. Uh, go to six. I'm oh, in. Okay. I'm gonna say bad because we drew the hazard and we have seven cards again. Like, we get incinerate them at least. We have to the charger. Just play ritual, 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 and die. Or probe. Pay two life and probe. Gonna do those and bolt, bolt, and bolt as well. That also seems acceptable. I, I think it's a reasonable play. I don't know about y'all, but um, I think it's a very... Man, I thought he paid for it. I was about like... Did call it. He's basically at four. Sweet. I think we're playing against a storm deck. And against a storm deck, do I want anything? Um, not really. I might just put, I put in this field again for another mountain. Because it hits Shellbock, it hits all its colors. It's not the greatest because it, it gives them a basic, but if I can hit Shelldock, which is. Man, this is like a snap. So, I'm not going to lean on Goblin Guide, which might be crazy, but. Um, the reason to leave on Zergo, it deals the same amount of damage as playing Goblin Guide, and you also don't give them an extra possibility of drawing a card. Also, Zergo is one of those weird ones. Like you, you, you always want to cast him, but you don't. You're never sure if you want to dash him or just hard cast. Okay. Also, I think our storm player was probably winning if we didn't rip the idol off the top. But don't go with that one. We might have just had nothing. Yeah, that is one of my f that ponder is one of my favorite blue cards. It's different. on the top, okay. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Lucky Lose. Uh, what's a good three jump in one? Chain Roller? Chain Roller is good. Um, Char, Exquisite. And I'd rather go on Curve, because we, we were curving pretty well. But, uh, I won't complain if he gives us a one drop or a two drop. 
I definitely won't be clean if they give me Abbott or Carol Keith. There's not, there's not a land. It's I jinx myself. But we can go hazard it and then like pitch this or something. Like, we're, there's no way hazard attack the next turn. No matter what we do. Huh. I would like to draw something good. Hellrider would have been. I think I'd rather play that over Hazard, honestly. I like Hazard, but Hellrider gets. So we can just go. We go Hazard, and then we can go land incinerate, and then Hazard can attack, and then we can also discard some. They're basically dead this turn, no matter. They have to combo this turn, or we're dead. Nope, can't come, but cool. I'll uh, we'll see you in round three. I need to figure out how to cut this away, but I will get better people watching, and we'll get better at doing this whole YouTubing. Uh, I swear. That sound that was the most bouncing than last night was. But I will get better at this. I'm just. Hmm. This is obviously such a bad hand, we're totally gonna keep because we deal on 3 damage on turn 2. And how you ask we deal on 3, we're gonna go figure your destiny turn 1. Make it a 2 2 and then attack and play Swiss Spear, so. I'm sure they're playing that, so. Figure your destiny is a weird one. Hey, it becomes a 2 2 for 1 mana, and then you can pay 3 mana, it becomes a 4 4. Also, this art is weird. And you can pay like six mana because the eight eight flying first strike. So he he a weird card. But I mean, that could be some weird cards in a while. Also, I think we're playing against the blue green ramp deck, and it looks like we have a slow start, so we might just steal this game because of how slow we started. So next time we go like chain roller, fiery confluence. Oh, no, I think they play opposition. That was a four drop. Mm -hmm. It's a four four attack. Get it like chain wheeler into fiery confluence. Mm. 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 Oh, what is mm. that? Okay, fan fiction. Um. doesn't have the island or the map the forest. So he can either like so he took the two car out. So that means he's listing land drops. And he probably doesn't have an extra forest, but he doesn't have an extra island for that either. Up uh, That's another that's another thing you can if you want to discuss about that what what's the correct one, but I I, I personally believe putting the island with the Garrick is the correct pick. But again, trying to learn. I've been playing this for a, year, a few years now and trying to get better. Look at that. Look at that scary thing. I'm, ter I'm terrified. So he's dead now. He, he just dead.
Oh man, this is this is gonna feel dirty. So your hammer is a one one that makes four squirrels. But you can get squirrels, you get plus one, so I'm gonna kill it with fiery compliments and then all the squirrels are gonna die as well. Cass. I like how Falcon Rap, you know. Eh. I mean, we're still winning. We still won, but it did kill our Falcon Rap. But I do think playing the Falcon Rap that turn is still. The correct play? Just because if we. Like, if we just need that two extra and the fire confluence wasn't enough, we could just hit him. Hit him for 2 1. So, like, if there's some reason we just, like, couldn't, like, we had the fiery confluence for six, and he still had a blocker because he gained some life somehow, we still just get attacking for two right there. And he gets the, he'd probably block the 4-4 four, four and take two, five, six, seven. That's probably enough. Alright. Um, I'm gonna keep this in. The question is, do I want to go turn to your apartment or turn to my favorite, Abbott and Carol Keep? I mean, turn one is obviously this um this standard weird card that was not standard anymore. That was good when he was in standard. Like, when he first was first printed, he was not the greatest because everyone wanted to play that that awful red black vampire madness deck that wasn't great. But then when Mono Red became the deck, he was I mean, look at that. We got we got a standard. Look at this. Yeah, we got a standard deck right here. We got chain hazards and the one drop. Yeah, 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 I like standard. It's a fun format. This is a little funny, obviously. Wall of Omens! Or Wall of Blossoms! Man, this one doesn't let me have fun. It's so rude. Never let me have fun. Another reason I don't think I'm gonna play Abbott on turn 3 is because if we don't have the if we don't have a mountain, you can play a mountain off Abbott. So if the mountain's on top and we don't draw it, we just slam mountain and it feels good. It, it, it feels good. It feels real good. It's but um, I think the sand's great. I, I just need two lands. Like, play mm -hmm. Abbott. It'll land off Abbott. Hitting a land off of it would be gas. Like gas, gas. There's a of at least. I don't Maybe just realize it's dead. That's what I wish. Also, I didn't attack on turn one because. Okay. So, the question is. Playing one up. Let's see if that's the number one question we have right now going on. And I think I can start. I think I just go curve. I think I just go on curve. So, if I don't hit the fourth line drop, I'll go. I can go, um. Ab it. Try to hit it, but. I think curve would just go that. You know busted. You know busted goblin shit. He didn't take all of it. No, no, no. How busted chain would it be if he also had haste? Opposition. We knew he was playing that. We should just like. No, <sighs> feel bad. I got those bad beats. I would like to draw lands. I just go Hellrider. Tell me if I'm to take take a lot. Um, 
I think we're still winning, because he can never put enough creatures to tap my entire team, like, fast. And then he can also not have enough creatures to tap all my lands. That's fine. So we tap it. So this card doesn't need any man. It's just gonna hit you for four. Which makes me probably about all lands is like hell right fire blast lib. Prowess trigger. Oh, that is a card and a half. Man, it feels bad when people have better cards than me. Turning out, not at all. So one, two, four, five, six, seven. He has seven creatures. You can just go tap four, five, six. Uh, he bad. I like one of the most bad in this game. Though. attack here because now he's got the 3-4 boy. So I'm just pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tie my stuff down. You're going to be 3-3. Three, three. whole thing going and um god which one no I have a wear and tear but which wear and tear which side should we jam it uh man tear does lame so I wear did Ugh. I don't really know what's going on in this art of wear and tear like someone's punching a machine and someone's coming out of dust I don't know I try not to figure these magic parts out sometimes like, why is Hazard's like whole background dark and evil? Oh my like evil. Little things like that bother me. And that's why my opponent's learning to tap down my lands on FG. Cool, so I don't know if we're winning anymore. I'm just gonna try to fire blast this boy and like mm -hmm. yeah, I can trade with Falcon Wrath here, but or my Falcon Wrath dies, but that's fine. We got game one, so we can't complain if we lose game two and get game three. We did get game one, right? Pretty 
pretty sure you finally got tier 1 play was Falconer. And then you just flex. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna skip this game up. He's got too many squirrels to, like, um, I don't know that. Maybe I put this bonfire in over, like, let me just cut this jackal. Um, I never cast, I think this Chandra's too slow. I just want to answer, like, if I'm not just bonfiring for one against this deck is sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. I'm gonna turn one with the jack up, turn two dash and zergo attack. Mm -hmm. Really a bonfire in hand. Mm -hmm. We're feeling it. If I can, like, fire it. And slow his slow his uh, mana down. Fire is just like a bad electrolyze, to be honest. Electrolyze is one more, draws you a card, and it's instant. I don't know what this is, this is also instant. But it doesn't draw a card, so. They don't draw me a card, you know? I don't, don't want to cast it. That's why I like, that's why I like Bowman carry so much. It essentially draws me a million cards. Oh, that would have been sweet in the stack. Ugh. That would have been so good. I mean, I'm gonna attack with Dark Club. And if he just, like, blocks Tribal and doesn't sack it, okay. Cool. But if he, like, we take one if he doesn't. He takes nothing here. Okay, I don't think he's gonna. I, I guess if he if he's gonna sacrifice, he's just gonna get put in hand. That was tapped. <laughs> nah, he's just he's not trying to ram. Okay. He is just not at all trying to do what his deck likes to do, but lands out fast and cast some spells. Sucks are stuck in two because we have three drop. Basically, three drop and four drop. Ugh. Oh, I land. That is not what I asked for in the deck. Like, like that. Why do you gotta be rude and not give me the card I want? Land. So I can char two, three, and attack with everything. Fire Confidence is a deal one is pretty bad with this and this so uh, with Falkrath Quarter and Young Pirates. I think if we ever cast this, we're just gonna cast Fire Confidence dealing six to him. Did he just have options? Wait, Green Sun for two? Does he get wall here? I'm trying to see if there's any other think think of any other two drops he had in his deck. Sure, I didn't want to do that whole like cool if it's there because you know what I'm talking about. Force spike, you're an ass. Who uh, the flip this force spike? I don't think we're winning. Um, I think we're so far behind right now. Like he just got he's got bigger fatty creatures. He's also at only 16. Ugh. And now he has to die. If it's all in, I just go like 
destroy that deal for him. It is hard to beat, so I really would like to draw land here. Also, if one plays four spike, let's be honest. Like, come on. Sure, you want to take on? No. Nope. Oh, that was rude. He doesn't want to help us out at all. Kill the Empire Mantle, right? Like, I, I don't think we can beat that. So I'm gonna scoop this up. Hello, right, people. I win a solid 2 1 for my first uh, draft. Well, we're gonna be posting one very soon after this, but enjoy y'all's day and have a good day. See you later. Bye.